In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a milestone timeline slide with colorful icons. You can see here, I have added this colorful icon. So how I have added this, let me just show you in the tutorial. So let me just show you the example now how I've created. You can see here, this is the first milestone slide. When I click, one arrow comes here and then the first option comes. You can see here, I have put this the first milestone with the colorful icon. Then you can add the detailed text along with the shadow effect and the title here and when i click it will show me the second milestone the third one fourth fifth sixth and seventh so depending on your requirement either you want to create the timeline slide like this or i have created one more example where i've just added something like this straight so whichever way you feel better you can just uh, choose the slide from and how i have added this particular icons uh, is i have just uh, gone to this particular website called icons8.com you need to download it this for windows and then you can add any icons of your choice uh, for your presentations and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide color to any color of your choice. Then go to insert shapes. And from the lines, I'm going to choose either you can just choose the line arrow or you can just choose the line also. Let me just choose the line arrow again from the center by holding the shift key. I'm going to draw a line you can see here something like this all right and then shape outline you can give any color of your choice and then I want to give a bigger arrowhead for that right mouse click and go to the format shape and here you can see here a begin arrow type I'm going to choose this one which is the oval arrow and begin arrow size I want a bigger one and then the end arrow type i want this and this also bigger so you can see here i have created something like this and if you want to increase the size either you can go it here or you can just increase the width depending on your requirement all right so just make sure that this is in the center and once this is done i'm just going to add the milestone the first milestone i'm going to add it so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval just draw the oval you can see something like this and shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and you can give any color of your choice and then i can just increase the width either from this one or i can just go and increase it from here also all right and then i'm going to reduce the size of this or uh, before that let me just add one more oval shape here go to insert shapes again select the oval shape and here shape outline i'm going to make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give this color the same color what i have given for the outline and then i can just hold the shift key reduce the size a little bit and i'm going to place it exactly in the center and then both of this i'm going to group it by pressing ctrl g and then again hold the shift key reduce the size you can put it here now if you feel that this is a bigger size again hold the shift key you can reduce the size so depending on your requirement you can adjust the size and then i'm going to add one more oval shape at the top again for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape again draw the oval shape again depending on your requirement and make sure to hold the shift key so that you get a perfect square uh, circle all right so i'm just going to place it something like this all right and then shape outline i can make it maybe black shape fill i'm going to choose some light colors here you can see here and even i can just increase the width of this all right something like this now if you want you can add one more uh, white uh, border line for that press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here shape outline i'm going to make it white uh, sorry uh, white and then i'm going to shape fill make it no fill and then i'm going to increase the width of this you can see here and then exactly on top i'm going to 
put it but this is not visible so i'm just going to hold the control shift key together and just a little bit i'm going to increase the size so you can see here the black is also visible and if you want to give some shadow effect also that also can be done so once this is done i'm going to connect this line with this two oval shape for that go to insert shapes select the line let me just zoom in and you can see here from this center i'm going to put this center here all right and then you can just send this to back also not a problem and for this also you can just give any color of your choice and increase the width all right so it looks something like this so if the width is too much you can reduce the width also so this is my first milestone design so now we need to add the color icons if you don't have the icons what you need to do is you have to just go to this particular website you can see your icons 8.com slash app slash windows and then download for the windows so let me just show you how it looks so this is my we can see here I have downloaded already so I'm going to use the same thing so let me just wait for that to come all right so you can see here I have got a uh, different icons you can see here all different icons are there here I can all right you can just go and search for the color one I can just click the color I have got the color also so it's very easy for me whichever icon i can just choose from this for example i need this icon the meeting icon i'm just going to drag it here and then i can increase the size also so it's increasing it's uh is blurring but you can use a small icon something like this all right so this way you can just add the icons here so let me just go to this one Vision and then I can just go and select this one and drag it here and I'm going to put it here You can see here if you want just increase the size a little bit more and I'm going to place it here All right, so like this you can place or add any icons uh, Which is the important thing is all colorful icons are available so you can just download and use it now let me just add some detailed text here for that go to insert shapes I'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle so maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill I'm going to choose the same color which I have used here the blue one you can see here and then I want to give some shadow effect for that press ctrl D to duplicate and shape fill I'm going to make it black and increase the transparency level you can see here and bend it a little bit you can reduce the size also not a problem you can see here let me just bend it and then send this to back so I've just created some shadow effect also a little bit and then I'm going to place it something like this so I've created a shadow effect and then you can type the title here all right center align if you want you can make it white and put it here and can make it bold also and both of these i'm going to press ctrl g to group it and then go to insert text box you can add some detailed text here for this milestone i'm just saying center align reduce the size all right and just place it here so this is my first milestone is done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this all right so you can see here let me just copy this and hold the control shift key together and then just add it here all right and release it now i'm just going to select this and I'm going to bring it down something like this you can see and this also I'm just going to drag this down all right and then this I'm going to duplicate by pressing ctrl D and I'm going to place it here all right so these are my two milestone created now I'm going to select this one 
again hold the control shift key together and I'm just going to add like this you can see here so depending on your requirement you can add as many as you want and once this is done what you can do is you can just delete the icons which we don't want all right just delete it again go to that app and I want for example say this one I'm going to drag this here and I'm going to place it here and then I want some kind of a guitar so I'm just going to place it here and this speed I want something like this here so you can see here a lot of variety of icons are available so you can just drag and drop and use it all right so you can see here i have added all those things now depending on your requirement you can change the color again i don't want this color i want some different color maybe i want some orange this also i want orange you can see here and this also i need to go with orange all right so like this you can just change the colors now the last part is to do the animation let me just close this one and then i'm going to select all of this and i'm going to group it you can see here i'm just selecting this ctrl g to group it using the mouse you can do it very quickly all right so it's already grouped now now and change the color as per your requirement so go to the animations enable the animation pane the first thing I'm going to select this one or I can just choose the line first of all add animation I'm going to go to more entrance effects stretch click OK and I'm going to choose from left so it comes something like this and then I'm going to choose this one add animation more entrance effects I'm going to select basic zoom so it comes something like this and then this one I'm going to choose again the stretch and this should happen from bottom something like this and this should happen after previous and for this I can choose maybe fly in fly in I'm going to make it from top alright and this should also happen maybe with previous so if I play it looks something like this alright and then for both of these i'm going to choose the same animation which is the stretch and i can make it maybe from the top all right and this should happen after previous so if i play again it comes something like this all right now with the help of animation painter it's very easy for me to copy the animation so i'm going to select this one animation painter click on this and then this line I'm going to click on this the only change we need to do is it is from bottom so I have to just make it from top all right so you can see here and again I'm going to choose this one again this is again from the top I'm going to change it from bottom all right and this one no changes at all all right so you can see here it is done again I'm going to choose this one for the third select this and animation animation painter I'm going to click on this so like this simplest way you can just add the animation quickly let me just add it now again for this I have to use this one okay for this I have to use this one Alright, so like this you can add the animation of your choice.